Paul Pogba now. Interesting comments made by interim manager Ralph Rangnick, who said that Pogba will be determined to return to form for United, even if his motivation is to earn a new deal elsewhere. Yes, of course. I, I also played uh, Nema Matic now in the last games, uh, and he's also have an, his contract is also expiring. By the way, my contract as a manager is also expiring in the summer. So for us, we have the same goal, we have the same ambition to be as successful as we can possibly be in the next three or four months. So for me, it's not a question if a player has an expiring contract. The question is, how much does he still be want, wants to be part of this group? How much does he still feel emotionally and physically on board? Uh, and as long as this is the case, why shouldn't the Paul Pogba now, after two and a half months of injury, being fully fit again now, and he also wants to to show up. He wants to show the, the the fans of Manchester United, the board, the whole world what kind of player he can be. And even if it's for only to showing up for for a new contract elsewhere, I mean, he will be highly motivated to do that. And why shouldn't I then not play him? Uh, but as I said, there is a difference of how does how do players deal with their current situation how do they handle that and if they handle that in a professional way in an ambitious way of course i can and will play players uh, although they have a contract expiring in the summer yeah, so Pogba returned to training this week after injury. His contract expires this summer. He's not been offered a new deal since last summer and is still deciding whether to extend his stay at United. Um, this is one that just keeps on going on and on and on. I mean, how many times have we spoken about Paul Pogba on these shows throughout the windows? Shaban, does Rangnick have a point in what he's saying about finding that motivation? It's a win-win for Paul Pogba. Play the best you can at Manchester United between now and your deal being up at the end of the summer. Or do your best now and hopefully Juventus and Real Madrid will come calling and they'll make a nice bit of money for him uh, as well. But, you know, six years at the club, 89 million. And it's been a tale of two halves, that's what I will say. I mean, we've seen Pogba at the best and then we've seen him just really not give it at all. Uh, taking a look back at some of uh, his few seasons, the last three seasons actually, let's go from um, when they won the World Cup with France, 2018 and 19, that was a brilliant season. 47 games, 16 goals and 11 assists. Uh, 19 to 20, 20 season was 22 games, one goal and three assists. A real dip in form there. And then 20, 20, 21 season, 42 games, six goals and six assists. Not too bad at all. Uh, and 2021 20, season, up to his injury, 13 games, no goals, but seven assists. And that all happened uh, at the start of the season. Four, four assists in that first game against Leeds. Um, he's not played under Ralph Rangnick yet. He's got this thigh injury at the moment. But as we hear from Ralph, there. He's keen to get back. He needs to show Manchester United that he deserves another contract or show the world that he can get a contract elsewhere. In fairness though, he's not played in a particularly great Manchester United team. It's not exactly the greatest era for Manchester United, is it? And when he was, you know, I presume when he was sold a vision of what the Manchester United was going to be like on, on his return, it hasn't quite happened, has it? We've seen different head, he's worked under different head coaches, mm. different systems, and the team hasn't been built around him, rightly or wrongly. But it hasn't, and that's what it was. He went to the midfield, and he had PLO behind him and other players, but effectively he, he had a safety blanket to be able to do what he wanted to do, what he was best at. And then came to a, came to a United where he's played in different positions. He played out wide, he's played deep, and he's occasionally played. So, I mean, I, I, I know I get criticised for being a Pogba apologist. <laughs> I get that. But all I'm saying is it's, it's, there's a lot of people that, that jump on the, on the back of anything that he does, but there's always another side to it. Of course, and but you talk about that first game back of the season under, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He said he gave him that creativity. Go and play the way you want to play. Outstanding. Just do that with him again. I, I can't understand how it doesn't work sometimes. Still played him on the left that game, though. I know, but it worked. It worked, you know, I, and... and that's what's important, just play him when he's good. Yeah, I also wonder, I mean, is there a bit of mind games going on here with Rangnick? Because he's trying to find a way to motivate the player. He's now almost turning around and saying, do you know what? It might not be that you have to impress at Manchester United. It might be because you need to impress to get a move away. Mm -hmm. Paul Pogba, if you're listening, that's your motivation. I, I, I think so. I think like, you know, there's, mu there's multiple ways to, to motivate a player. And also, I think he's saying, look, I'm also in the same boat. As Paul Pogba, Nemanja Matic, who's one of the you know the senior statesmen in the change room, is in the same boat as Paul Pogba. Don't just single out this guy because you know because he's arguably the most famous and the most divisive. Look, there's other players that have got to play for whatever motivation well into the end of the season to sort out their future either at this club or wherever they want to go next. And Ralph Rangnick is one of them. Yeah. yeah.
Oh, Rana, you also spoke about Anthony Martial. He said the situation has been resolved, referring to the situation uh, with what happened at the weekend. Rangnick saying Martial didn't want to be in the squad for Saturday's game against Villa. Martial responded on Instagram saying he would never refuse to play a match for Manchester United. But Rangnick said they've had a conversation. The situation is resolved. That is his words. Um, but there is still uncertainty, of course, over Martial's future. It's something that they've been talking about on the Transfer Talk podcast this week. You can get that from all your usual podcast outlets. Um, Mark Darmish, interesting point from him because he was talking about Martial's future and the potential of actually going out on loan, perhaps. Yeah, I was listening to that very podcast and it's a great listen and, and really informative. And Darmesh goes into quite a lot of detail about the anti Anthony Martial situation as well. He says that his preferred destination is severe. Uh, he thinks he'll get more game time there, which is obviously crucial for Martial, who's found his game time limited at Manchester United. And the great thing is Sofia are fighting for the La Liga title. So Martial could potentially go to the club and end up with some silverware at the end of the season. There's also interest from Barcelona and Juventus. Our colleagues uh, Sky in Italy are saying that Juventus are really, really keen to try and get his signature uh, on the piece of paper. Um, in terms of what Darmesh was saying on the transfer uh, podcast. I'll just give you a little bit of a, an update. It says, um, as for United, they really don't want to do a loan, but I just wonder if they might be persuaded if a cl club came in and said, we will pay 100% of Martial's wages and we'll also give you a loan fee. If you look at Martial's contract, United are in an okay position because his contract is up in 2024 and United have a club option to extend that for another year. So as things stand, Manchester United hold all the cards when it comes to Anthony Martial and his future. And Darmesh goes on to say, I just wonder if it's in United's interests, if he's not going to play for them for the remainder of this season, for him to go out on loan. If he does that and plays very well and comes back to United in the summer, maybe the new manager will say, I do want you, I've seen what you can do, and you've definitely got uh, stuff to give to Manchester United. Failing that, if he does play well in a loan spell, then potentially his value could either be maintained or go up. And, um, you know, I think that's a really interesting situation. But I think it's clear his days at Old Trafford certainly feel like they're coming towards an end. Yeah, I mean, we, we did see that last season with Jesse Lingard as well. Go out, put in the goals, took West Ham up into Europe, came back, didn't get into the Manchester United team. And, you know, hasn't done it under Ralph. Will that be the same for Martial? I would hope not.